fantasy plays use title week waivers to block opponent, too. Time for the fantasy championship, the culmination of 15 grueling weeks to get to the final game. Does the waiver wire matter this week? Probably not as much as most other weeks. It comes down to team needs. Obviously, depth is no longer important with only one game left. So if you are claiming someone, it is likely because you either have a lineup decision to make that will involve one of the players that you are trying to acquire, or you want to keep someone away from an opponent. Yes, you should be looking closely at your opponent's lineup this week. You need to figure out if they have a weakness anywhere. Perhaps they have Antonio Brown and don't have much depth at wide receiver. If that's the case, then you may want to claim the best WR on your waiver wire. You may even want to claim more than one, if you have the room on your roster. Just make sure the players you give up won't help your opponent or hurt your chances of winning. There is nothing wrong with being proactive. One last note, if you play in a dynasty or keeper league, then this may very well be the last week in which you can acquire a player. Even if you're not a team in contention, you should scan waivers for players that can help you next season. You never know who a playoff team might have had to drop in order to try to win, and so many teams just hang it up once they're eliminated rather than trying to get better for next season. If your league does extend to Week 17, we also offer some flyers. Nick Foles, QB, Philadelphia Eagles, 39%, with his performance against the Giants. Foles erased any doubts about whether he could handle the starting job in the wake of the season-ending injury to Carson Wentz. Foles used all the weapons around him to throw for 237 years and four touchdowns. He also gets the Raiders at home this week, one of the worst pass defenses in the NFL. Kerwin Williams, RB, Arizona Cardinals, 39%, it's not that Williams is a great back. But the Cardinals believe in a one-back system and pretty much running that back into the ground. He doesn't have to be great to have a good fantasy game. The volume will be there and so will the fantasy points. Javarius Allen, RB, Baltimore Ravens, 37%, just about any running back with a pulse in the NFL has value. Yes, the Ravens have so many cooks in the kitchen with Danny Woodhead, Alex Collins, and Allen looking for touches. But it is the Colts they're playing this week. Indianapolis made C.J. Anderson look like a must play in week 15. Aaron Jones, RB, Green Bay Packers, 48%. The Packers may have been waiting for a bad game from Jamil Williams to get Jones more touches. Williams didn't play well versus Carolina on Sunday, but even if you believe Jones will get the starting job back, the Vikings are on next on the schedule and it's hard to see either back having much success in Week 16. Wayne Gallman, RB, New York Giants, 10%. It's hard to tell what the Giants might do as coach Steve Spagnuolo seems more inclined to try and win games rather than see what kind of players he has for next season. Gallman should see increased touches but that's not written in stone. Chris Ivory, RB, Jacksonville Jaguars. 29%, he would only come into play if you believe that Leonard Fournette will miss another game and Ivory would get the start over TJ Yeldon. Brandon Oliver, RB, Los Angeles Chargers, 1%, with Austin Eckler lost for the season with a broken hand, Oliver is next in line to give Melvin Gordon a breather here and there. Kenny Britt, WR, New England Patriots, 9%, you would have to be extremely desperate to trust Britt but maybe you're a Chris Hogan owner or play in 16-plus team league. Keelan Cole, WR, Jacksonville Jaguars, 2%. Mark Easley had to leave the game Sunday with a sprained ankle and will be extremely questionable to play in Week 16. Cole was the biggest beneficiary of Lee's injury Sunday as he had 7 receptions for 186 yards and a score. Eli Rogers. W.R., Pittsburgh Steelers, 1%, he is another deep play as even with Brown out for the rest of the regular season, he will still not be any better than 4th or 5th on the depth chart behind Martavis Bryant, Juju Smith-Schuster, Le'Veon Bell, and possibly Jesse James, who is also a possible pickup if you need help at T as he is only owned in 20% of CBS Sports Leagues.
underscore this column was provided to the Associated Press by the Fantasy Sports Network, http colon slash slash fancy.com.